having some technical issues there, but we're live. All right, here we go. And the controller's not working. Restart this. Every time, this emulator gives me trouble. Should be good now. Send out a quick message to let people know the stream's starting. Got a couple hints. Lissa and Bates encounter different, encounter different events. If you find yourself unable to continue, first change personalities by putting down the amulet and then try again. Okay, and two, there are some events that Alyssa can clear only when she has put down the amulet. Down the amulet and then try again. <sighs> All right. I was hard stuck in this yesterday. An hour and a half I've been wandering around just the first level. I beat almost the entire game of the previous game in an hour and a half, so... I'm way stuck here and I don't know what I'm missing. Uh, hopefully, fresh eyes today will help. We'll just kind of re-interact with everything and see what's going on. A human arm? It is weird when he doesn't say what's in the little subtitle. Man, she walks slow. Okay. I believe this one's locked too. I have guns, my only item. I can use it to shoot that little brat that keeps chasing me while I'm Bates. All right, anything at all I can interact with in here. I can turn the lights off. I don't see any possible reason for that. Oh, here comes a little brat. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> Who's lapping now? That is how you discipline your kids. Okay, what am I missing? This is locked, but I'll double check it. Have I tried? Maybe I haven't interacted with the phone as Bates. I can't. Bates does not care about the phone. I don't think there's anything in there except a gun. Uh, let's go upstairs. So I, I was so desperate to figure out what to do yesterday that I even tried looking at a guide 
The problem is, when I found a guide, the thing that it told me to do doesn't work. It tells me to go through a door that is very clearly locked. Um, so that's not good. And it doesn't say anything about using a key. I looked back through the whole guide to see what it said about finding that key. There's nothing. The guide is just bad. The guide just assumes a door is unlocked, which is locked. So maybe the guy that made the guide didn't remember that he picked that key up or something. He didn't say where he got it. I sure as heck can't find it. But this is not the world's most popular game, and I can only find one guide online for it. May there might be, like, YouTube walkthroughs or something, but I generally... I just want to look at a quick text guide that just kind of tells me. I want to watch hours of a video and skip around through the whole thing looking for that part. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've searched these. Let's search them again. Oh, this is where I put my amulet, I think. I don't want to pick the amulet up again. Pick up amulet, no. We're going to stay as baits. Okay, there doesn't appear to be anything else I can interact with in here. So this room is the one it tells me to go into. It doesn't tell me to use this door. This door is locked. I'm assuming this door is also locked for the guide person. Yeah, but it says go around through the outside balcony to enter that room. And there's another door into that room via the balcony that I can get into from this room. But the door is locked from the outside as well for me. Now, I know things can happen differently in these games, depending on uh, what order you do things. You get a bunch of different endings, so it's very likely. Because I didn't do things in the exact order in the guide, the door would be unlocked if I had. But anyway, now it's it's totally unhelpful to me. Yet, I've interacted with everything in here. Get her head for like the 18th time. Yellow blood. Who bleeds yellow blood? Yeah, good question. Only thing out here that I can find is that door, which I can't open, even though the guide says to. The door is locked. Keep trying. Maybe it's try it twice. What a worthless guide. Hmm. So I need a key, I'm guessing. Where in the world? I have searched everywhere. I don't have a clue where this key could be. House isn't that big. I've searched every single room like four plus times. I wonder if I soft locked myself um somehow made a very bad decision at some point. Broke something. Getting to the point where I think I must have. Uh, can't interact with the statue. Been in this bathroom a bunch of times. Check it again. I believe I found my gun up here. Everything is normal here. Okay. 
Can't go out through the window. Nope, doesn't appear to be anything I can do in here. I don't know, maybe I need to still be... So you switch between personalities in this game. Maybe I need to be the girl. Yeah, I'm going to switch back to her. I've decided to switch back to the girl instead of Bates. If you were in the ad break, I don't know if that'll change anything, but we'll try it again. I've already explored for quite a while as her, but... Being Bates doesn't seem to be the answer. Oh, my shiny went away. I'm the girl again. I can't touch Alyssa, it. Alyssa, that's her but name. But why? Didn't remember. Okay. Let's go interact with everything again, Alyssa, but now is you. game makes me feel stupid. Previous games did not do that. I don't know why this one's so much harder than them. Or, like I said before, maybe I'm just missing something really obvious. Ooh, spooky. Um, well, I've tried to use this phone before and it never worked. The guy telling me he's going to kill me. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> oh, there he is. He just sits there on the phone waiting for me. Everything is normal here. That's a closet. This is another balcony. This is a room that had a doll in it that tried to kill me. But I don't think I found anything useful in here. Doesn't appear to be anything. Tricked the little girl into falling off the balcony out here, but that didn't seem to hurt her. Nor does getting shot multiple times. Stupid little girl. Okay, so nothing else over here. Uh, okay, must must be something downstairs. Am I missing?
bathrooms. There's just body parts in the bathrooms. Ashley's leg? Hmm, I'm reaching a level of frustration with this that I'm usually, I'm pretty patient, and I don't usually get frustrated in these games. And I know I've checked the washer, but maybe something changed. Hmm, it's pretty full. Nope. Oh. Everything is normal here. Ashley? Ashley, you're not looking so good. Feeling all right? Okay, nothing. Back to the kitchen area, or the dining room area, for the 18th time. You could try to use the phone for the 18th time. Oh, the line's dead. Well, that's slightly better than a guy saying he's going to kill me. Okay, we can check this room again. There's just a suitcase that she won't look inside of last time I was in here. Everything is normal here. Everything is normal here is actually a useful message. I think it means I can store my amulet in there. And I might be able to find like a health pack or something if I need it. There's a pistol, but I won't take a pistol while I still have ammo in another pistol. Here's the thing that I can like look at, but she doesn't look in it. She just comments on it. I wonder whose attaché case this is. I don't know. Why don't you open it? I wonder whose attaché case this is. Why would you just wonder whose it is and not open it? This is not the time to be polite like that. But yeah, I can't. I can't open it, so that's not the solution. Turn the light off? I don't know why I would, but... Oh, just being in the dark doesn't seem to give me anything interactable. I was never this hard stuck in any of the other games up until beating them. I was never this hard stuck. This is the first level. This fireplace can still be used. Is that a hint I should light it? I don't have a way to. The pot just says everything's normal, and I can hide my amulet in there if I want. Yo, what's going on, Frenchie? How you doing? You're on early today. Is it your day off? Nice. Is it Ashley's? Frenchie, I am more frustrated with this game than maybe any other game I've ever streamed. I have no idea what to do, and it's the very first level. I have not accomplished anything in over an hour of gameplay. I have no idea. Nothing does anything. I tried to look up a guide, 
and the guide doesn't work. This isn't that popular of a game, so I can only find one single guide, and the thing that that one single guide tells me to do, it tells me very specifically which door to go through to get to a specific room. That door is locked. The guide says nothing about that door being locked, so I can't even look up what to do. I'm, I'm to the point where I legitimately think I may have somehow soft-locked myself by doing making a series of poor decisions where it's impossible to move forward for whatever reason. Because I, I'm that stuck. Like, I've explored everything in this house over and over again, and I can't do anything. Wow, it's so full. This isn't Clock Tower 3, but it is the third Clock Tower game. It's its original Japanese title is Clock Tower Ghost Head because it's actually a spin-off of the series. It's not part of the main story. But in the northern release, or the western release, I should say, it's called Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within. So a little bit of a complicated naming history but it's the third clock tower game yes mechanically and graphically and the way it's presented the voice acting and everything it's an it's a big step up from the first two games if i wasn't this hard stuck i i was excited and really having a good time with this game until suddenly i don't have a clue where to go or what to do for such a long time I don't know, like, I could start over and do things in a different order, and maybe that would help. I don't have a clue. You couldn't play these games? I've really enjoyed the games a lot. Um... I've had a great time playing the first two, and I was having a great time playing this one. I'm hoping this is just like a one-time thing, like I get over this hump, the hump, and then this one is like the others, where I can just get through it just fine. But, holy cow, I am so stuck. I'm doing the same things over and over again. Like, here's what the guide says to do. I'll go to the door the guide wants me to go through. The guide very clearly says to go to bedroom four via the balcony, which is the balcony connected to this room. Like, it's not unclear. It's not like I'm misreading it. Oh, great. Little brat's coming. This is very bad timing. Like, the guide's super clear. Go through this door to get into that bedroom. Right here. Door's locked. You can't go through it. The guide says nothing about that door being locked. Uh. Yeah, I know that was jerky. I have it skipping cutscenes, basically. Help turn the light off? That didn't help. That did not help. way now I'm trapped well whatever now we're dead just keep trying to open this door over and over again lying guide and just 
get stabbed. I think I either have to start over or I have to find like a video YouTube walkthrough. I don't know. I wouldn't mind starting over except for the fact that it, I don't know if it would help and I would be so annoyed to go through all that again just to still get hard stuck in the same spot. But I could do things in a different order and that would probably change things. Don't grow that way! Now we're trapped! Speaking of being hard stuck, I might be screwed now because she keeps going through the same door where there's no way out. Well, get stabbed. Please, please run through the other door. Run through the other door. No. I am. I'm stuck here. I have to load and save. Whatever. We haven't accomplished anything anyway. Uh. Can't use memory card. What, what's reset do? Reset the whole game? Yeah, I'm to the point where I, uh. I have no idea. I have no idea what to do. I think I somehow soft locked the game. Hmm. Can I skip all the cutscenes if I start a new game? can skip it all hello okay you know what pure curiosity here i'm gonna follow the guide that i found to the letter and see if that door's unlocked See if that changes things. Uh, let's see. Okay, walk through. Turn on switch, enter toilet one. There. Door. Oh. Okay, switch first. Enter the toilet, inspect the bowl. <gasps> What's that? <laughs> okay. Um, enter the bathroom, turn on the switch, get the key from the cabinet, and inspect the bathtub. I wonder what this key goes to. Okay, did all this before. Back to bathtub. I did do it in a slightly different order. <gasps> what happened here? <laughs> Enter dining room one. Use key to unlock dining room two. Enter dining room two and inspect the table. Okay. Yeah. 
the door is locked. Shining key. Inspect table, then go upstairs, enter bedroom two, and inspect the suitcase. <gasps> what is that? Uh, which bedroom is bedroom two? Oops, let me check uh, the map so I make sure I'm doing this exactly as the guide says. Bedroom two is... So... Ah, bedroom two is through there. Okay, it's the one, the middle door of the three in that room. That hallway. Okay. Got it. And go back to dining room two and grab the amulet. Okay, so bedroom two is this one. This says examine the, inspect the suitcase. What suitcase? Oh, is the thing with the head on it a suitcase? I thought it was some sort of weird chair. It must be a suitcase. But yeah, I've still done all of this. I didn't miss any of this. This is a suitcase. Okay, it doesn't really look much like a suitcase. <gasps> no! Oh no! Ashley! My amulet? No, stop! Don't be afraid, Alyssa. Okay, now we're Bates. We're gonna do nothing except what's in the guide, so we inspected the suitcase. Now we enter dining room two and pick up the amulet. Okay. Go to corridor one, turn on switch, enter toilet two, get the gun inside. And there's the amulet. Got it. It's Alyssa's amulet. Now I'm Alyssa again. Okay. Corridor 1, turn on switch, enter toilet 2, the gun inside. Which one's corridor 1? Oh, corridor 1's upstairs. Okay, then yeah, that's where the same place I got my gun. And then go inspect the samurai statue. Still did all this.
Maybe there's some sort of ingenious copyright protection to stop emulation, but somehow, on emulated versions, that door that needs to be unlocked is locked. So I can never play through the game. I'm literally following the guide to the T at the moment. Uh, so far, there's nothing that the guide says to do that I hadn't done, but I guess I am doing it in a slightly different order following the guide. So we'll see. We'll see if, if the door's magically not locked for some reason when I follow the guide. Got the gun. Now go quarter one inspect the samurai statue. Oh, what's up, full 180? Yeah, give me a quick scratch. Uh, how you doing? Yeah. How crazy. Wait, why is this different than when I did it? What? This did not happen when I played when I inspected it before. What changed? Are you doing? I'm doing all right. This game's bugging me a bit. Why is there a samurai? Why is the samurai trying to kill me now? That's so weird. Uh, okay. Enter living room one. Turn on switch. Talk to the guy there. Where's living room one? Living room one is upstairs. Oh, I gotta go back where I just was. Hope he's not still there. He is still here. Go back down. Okay, so this game, the order you do things seems to have an even bigger effect than in the other games. Because I did. I just spoke to the game devs. They said, Malt and Seed. I have been a bit. I had to literally start the game over, and now I'm following a guide word for word because the game seemed to be soft locked when I did it without a guide. Everything I did accomplished nothing. But that samurai statue never came to life, even though I've done I had done everything I've done in this playthrough so far and and more. So maybe it's because I never saw the little girl in this one. Uh, so it's the samurai statues, the killer instead of the girl. That's cool that there can be different killers. That's a really cool touch. It would have been more fun to experience that on my own than to follow the guide, but I was soft locked. Just leave and wait a few minutes and the statue will disappear because I need to get past it to follow the guide. Maybe I can just run past it if it's still there. Freaking guy. Let me buy. No, don't go that way. Go a different way. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, we're gonna have to go wander around a bit until he leaves. But I'm scared to do anything not in the guide. It breaks the game if you don't follow the guide. Hmm. Hey, stupid samurai guy. Appear in a different room, please.
Gotta wait. Not an answer in that phone. Maybe he's gone now. Okay, good. We gotta go this way. Um, turn on the switch, talk to the guy there. Uncle Philip! Alyssa, you're okay. Uncle Philip, what happened? Oh, time to explain now. You've got to hide. So don't even try to explain it, just keep cowering. Oh, time to explain now. You've got to hide. Hopefully I can hide better than you. That is not a good hiding spot. Uh, okay, next on the guide. Enter living room one. Turn on switch. Got to the eye. Enter bedroom three. Inspect the golden statue on the bed. Get desk key. Which one's bedroom three? Bedroom three right there. Okay, I know which one that is. Ah, oh, jeez. Um... <gasps> nice try. Oh, no, don't go back this way. Dude, can't you go somewhere else? Ah. I guess since things are happening differently now, I could stop using the guide, I suppose, and try to just... But I'm just so afraid of getting softlocked again. Let's see, I think they, I found a med kit in this closet before. I need a med kit. First aid kit, baby! Yeah, all right. I guess I'll stop using the guide and try to do it on my own now. Please don't soft lock me again. The doll gonna attack me again? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I'm going to kill you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wait, I thought I was dealing with the samurai armor, not you. I had to deal with both? <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Macaroon, her stupid face. 
Bam. Stephanie, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. So the only thing that's changed is now that statue's alive and it didn't come to life last time. Even though I interact with it over and over again. Oh, jeez. Why are you in this room? That's the room I need to go in. isn't a game. <laughs> That jerk left that room yet. the statue it said statue what is this it, it's possessed ouch it has some kind of power get a desk key in here. Hey, that's what it said. Are you a liar game? Is it in here? And the key to the drawer. All right. And I believe now is when it says to go through that door that was locked for me before. Let's see if it's unlocked magically now. Oh man, why are you always the place I'm trying to go?
Cash card goes to this room. Shut up, phone. Okay. I wonder whose attaché case this is. Guess we'll never know because you won't open it. Still got our guide open, right? Yeah, let me pull the guide back up here. All right. You. Anything I miss. Bed and floor through balcony one. Get bedroom key from the closet. Okay, that it says that door's open. That door better be open. Oh, what's up, Fat Mario? If this door I'm going through is not unlocked, I'm about to rage quit this game. Don't you play that piano? Oh, come on. The guide says this door over there is unlocked. That's what I have to go to. But when I was playing before, it was locked. Struggling doesn't even begin to uh, describe it. Yeah, th this one's weird. This game is weirder than the others, and stuff seems to just not work. I was explaining to uh, Frenchie before... I think I somehow got soft locked in this game. I literally had to start over and I'm following a guide word for word. Uh, it is telling me to do nothing that I had not already done. I've done everything in this guide, but following the guide perfectly, things did change a bit. I'm assuming because of the order I did things in. Uh, but this door is supposed to be unlocked according to this guide. And if this door turns out to not be unlocked, I'm still soft locked in the same spot as before and, and the guide's wrong had time all right uh <laughs> i have to run an ad let me open up which i gotta wait for that guy to not be in that balcony anyway so we'll run a quick ad uh if i i i never do this i don't even remember how to run ads uh here we are. Ad break. All right, one minute. Uh... 
Welcome back. Hopefully. All right, hopefully that guy's gone by now. I just sat in the room during the ad, so you didn't miss anything. He's gone. Okay. This door better be unlocked. Or else the guide's garbage and just doesn't work. And it's the only guide I could find for this game. It's unlocked! Why was it locked for me before? What? Stephanie? I wonder where Michael went. I was soft locked. My the game was busted somehow for me. I had to like start over. Wonder where Michael went. What's up, Jim? How you doing? Skill issue? I don't know what is going on there. That's so frustrating. I literally walked around for like over an hour just looking for what the heck I was supposed I to do. Where and that door went. was locked. Who's Michael anyway? We'll find out. I found a key. Well, I'm not using the guide anymore. Hopefully that was like a one weird one-off thing where somehow I soft locked the game and it'll never happen again. Hopefully I can go back to enjoying this game. But that's extremely frustrating. All right, we got a new key. I think I know where to use it, too. Oh, let's, um, go away from him. Killer Baby's still around somewhere. Now the samurai statue is also trying to kill me. That's something else that seemingly changed for no reason since yesterday's stream. You know how I, I inspected that statue like 15 times yesterday and every time she just went, ooh, it's spooky. And that was it. When I followed the guide and I clicked on him, it came to life and started trying to kill me. But yeah, the laughing little girl's around here somewhere, too. Oh, Stephanie, stop, please. Oh, no. I'm coming. Stephanie, I think Stephanie's a little brat who's been trying to, to cut up the girl and is trying to stab everyone. Needs a spanking, if you ask me. This is what happens when you don't discipline your kids. Lady, I feel like you could be doing more to avoid this. Uh, but Catherine, run! Hurry, run! Oh, don't come out. <laughs> oh, I got stabbed! Saving data? GU Kieran sucks. I don't even remember GU Kieran. 
Wait, what? Got one of the endings. Nailed it. Already beat this game. Let's move on. Oh no, I can't skip. Oh, I can skip it. Thank goodness. Ending rank is M, so probably not the best ending. But it is an ending. So, push the kid in. Thing. So, I wonder what happens if I, um, so like, let's look at my ending list. We got M, so I'm assuming maybe it goes from worst ending to best ending, and M is the worst ending. You die in the first level by getting stabbed by the little brat. So, clearly, I want to do that part as, uh, as my other guy. What's his face? Oh, I never saved. So, my only save data is my freaking soft-locked game. So, I guess we'll do a new game. Oh, I forgot to set it up so I could skip this part. Oh, well. Not that long. I really think it's okay? Having her stay with us? Children don't know anything about it. Everything will be okay. Anyway, Ashley will be home soon. Don't look so worried. <laughs> At my yeah, that's true. I can't voice act for this game. They have their own voice acting. I'll go and see. And the voice acting is actually not bad in this game. There's a few characters that are kind of funny. But for the most part, it's fine. I mean, this was like 1998 oh, or something. Hell. Or like that late 90s voice well acting. It's pretty solid. All right, so one thing we can obviously do differently here. Before we go in that room, we put down the amulet. Hello, <laughs> Uncle Philip? Aunt Catherine? Uncle it's Phil. Alyssa. Why don't he want me? Why don't my dad want me, Uncle Phil? <gasps> Was that? All right, we're gonna... Speed run some of this opening stuff. I have a feeling my first few actions are going to be the same every playthrough. I'm going to do the first couple of obvious things and then I'll make a save. So I can just load directly to that and skip the opening. Oh no, a leg. Whose leg is that? <gasps> What's that? Must have had Taco Bell. I felt like that before. Here. <laughs> Seriously, this is what happens what if you don't discipline. find this was the dining key yeah okay so we'll go to dining room i'll save after finding the arm in the dining room 
I think that'll be a good spot for a permanent save. Skip the first few actions. Oh no. <gasps> what is that? All right. New save here. Keep this data three, and that'll be our permanent restarting the game save. Let's go back upstairs now and become the other guy. Look at that head. Actually, you need always need to find the head, I'm sure. I bet after the head, I should would be a good spot for the save. <gasps> no. Oh no, Ashley. Are you okay? My amulet? No, stop! Don't be afraid, Alyssa. Yeah, this is where our save as Bates. Yellow blood. Who bleeds yellow blood? All right. Mm -hmm. What did I do next? Next I... Oh, my amulet's downstairs. I went and got my amulet. Speed run in this game right now. It's Alyssa's amulet. All right, now we're Alyssa again. What did I do next? We're back upstairs. I grabbed the gun now. Got the gun in here. Oh wait, first turn the light on. The Japanese people are weird and apparently put the bathroom light switch outside the bathroom.
me a pistol. Although really it's a revolver. I'm not sure if there's a distinction there. Like a revolver is a kind of pistol. I kind of assumed there was not. I thought a pistol had like a clip. All right, and then I touched him and he came to life. Yeah, how creepy. I'm scared to do anything prior to that out of order at all in case that door is locked again. I do have to kind of wait for that guy to disappear now, though, which is a little annoying. I just sort of just chill here until he's gone. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think he's gone yet. It would wait one more minute. Don't want to try going up too early because I have to start the wait over. Here we are. Okay, it's been another minute. Hopefully, he's gone. Ah, dang it. Go away. I'll go look around. Maybe now I can do things in a slightly different order. I could get this trap. This is a trap, I think. Come after me last time. I don't know if whether or not you set off traps affects the ending. <laughs> oh, jeez. Forgot you came in, too. Go away, little brat. Hey! Smack her with the candlestick. made some stuff happen. He's got to be gone by now, right? Did some things. Good. Talk to Uncle Phil. Alyssa, you're okay. Uncle Philip, what happened? Oh, time to explain now. You've got to hide. Um... I supposed to get something in here? 
Uncle Phil, you oh, suck. Time to explain now. You've got to hide. Thought I got something in this room. Just the closet. Everything's normal. I'm going to kill you. Dad? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everything's normal there as well. I thought I got something in here. I guess I didn't. I can go mess this statue up. I'm going to kill you. Like, they use that sound bite so much, and it's like, man, that's the best take you could get. You're gonna have them repeat that constantly. They really should have got a better take. I'm going to kill you. Stay away. <laughs> Get wrecked. Stephanie, I'm sorry. All right, now I believe I go interact with the statue, and then I get a key. Uncle Phil's gone. Uh, I think I'm gonna go in this room. Yes. Statue? What is this? It, it's possessed. Ouch! It has some kind of power. to the drawer. He's still out there, isn't he? I guess I can go downstairs and open the drawer. Not that it wouldn't make so much difference. Oh, he's gone. Perfect. Go this way, then. All right, the magical unlocking door should be here this time. Unlocked. I don't know what the difference is between this and previous times. Oh, 
Unlocked again. Stephanie? I wonder where Michael went. I wonder who Michael is. Oh, baby. We got a key. A bedroom key. That's the room where my aunt... Oh, wait, no, where I got killed last time for ending him. I wonder where Michael went. I wonder where Michael went. <gasps> Okie doke. We got us a key. So what we're going to do differently is uh, put down our amulet and go into that last room as baits and see. Oh, hello. You were just standing right there, huh? <gasps> Any chance there's a med kit in here? Nope. I think we covered part of his window with his chest of drawers. That would bother me so much. I would never do that. It looks terrible. This computer chair gets so far from his computer. Why would you ever push that far back? All right, we gotta wait him out. Can't go out until he's gone. Oh, please go away, statue. Hmm, could peek my head out real quick. I have a feeling I didn't wait long enough, but you never know. Go back! Go back! I changed my mind. Going back in. Huh, I wonder if I went out the other door, if I could... I might be able to outrun him from the other door, maybe? Instead of waiting? Let's find out. Ah! You freaking jerk. Kidding me? Stay in there. There we are. We're finally free. Free of this hallway. Uh, 
Um, ah, I know there's a med kit in here. Let's get the med kit. Oh, yeah. Full health. All right, this way. Here's the plan. We're saving and then we're switching to baits. I will drop my amulet in this pot here. Also, let's go open this drawer. I don't think she switches to baits until I have a run-in with an enemy. Then she'll switch to baits if she doesn't have her amulet on her. All right, let's go hopefully shoot this girl. Stop. Stephanie, stop, please. All right, do her. Take that. But Catherine, run! You better switch to baits and Hurry, not die. run! Oh, don't come out. Come on, <laughs> switch to baits. Oh, good, we're baits. Hurry up, old lady. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Kill her this time. <laughs> there we are. We made it. We survived that by being baits. It worked. That little monster. Where did uh, mom go? Shut up! Oh, great. Alright, can we check that room out now? Uh. 
There's nothing in here. I gotta find the uh, mom. Talk to her or come back here as Alyssa. I'll turn the lights off. I don't know what to do. Maybe she went in the kitchen? Where'd that lady go? Women love kitchens. Might be where she went. Not in the kitchen. All right, let's change back to Alyssa. Where did they go? Maybe she's in this room? Dang it! She's not in here? Thought she'd be in here. Maybe she's in this room. Where in the world did she run off to? Oh, oh, she got killed anyway? Aunt Catherine. She's dead. Dang it! Again? <laughs> that doesn't count as a new ending. There's no way that counts as a new ending. It's like the exact same ending. It must be ending M again. Well, I have a save this time. But we don't gotta redo all that. That feels like it should be a game over, not an ending. Yo, horse eggs, what's going on? Ending L? That counted as a separate ending? I feel like they're being, they're kind of cheating with their endings here. That was the exact same ending. Well, we got technically two endings now. When we got stabbed in the bedroom, when we got stabbed in the balcony. Better make a lot of backup saves in this game. Okay, uh, back over here again. So we switch to Bates, go in that room. We're going to stay as Bates this time when we find Catherine, because I'm assuming I will survive that one the same way by being Bates. How's life treating you, horse eggs? Doing anything fun? Stop. Stephanie, stop, please. Oh. 
But Catherine, run! Hurry, run! Oh, don't come out. <laughs> Hurry up, old lady. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the little twerp. I'll kill her next time. <laughs> That's too fun. Someone hit my work van, so I had to deal with a hit and run. Ouch. I got. I was a victim of a hit and run pretty bad a few years ago. When I lived in Seattle, uh. In Se that little monster. In Seattle, you basically always have to just park on the side of the road, like parallel park everywhere. Uh, we had a really, really bad blizzard for one of the winters when I lived there. Like whiteout conditions almost. Seattle doesn't usually get much snow, so it uh, kind of screws up the whole city when we're like buried under lots of snow. But the point is people don't know how to drive in it there, and uh, I just came out one morning to go to work, and my, the back of my car was smashed in. My license plate was gone, like it had been like knocked off the car completely. Uh, like, they, they'd seriously messed up my car and quite a bit of damage, and there was just nothing I could do about it. Sucks more than mine, at least I got paid. Yeah, no, I I had to cover the damages myself. Alright, let's see what happens if we are baits when we go out on that balcony. Oh no, Aunt Catherine. She bit it. That little crud bitch. <laughs> Why oh, is it always different? <laughs> what? Bates got stabbed too? What a load of crap. There's not even like the chance for me to react. I just get stabbed if I look at Aunt Catherine's body at all. Stop it. Stop laughing. <laughs> well, what the heck am I supposed to do? She kills me either way. Same ending, so it doesn't consider it a different ending if it happens if you're Bates instead of Alyssa. That's something at least. But I don't know what to do there. Block Tower, I think I saw a review of the first game. How fun is the series? It's been pretty fun. So this is the third in the series. Um, so far the second is my favorite, but it's a direct, the second is a direct sequel to the first, so you kind of have to play both. And this one I'm still kind of at the beginning of, and honestly, so far, it's my least favorite. Uh, this one's a lot more pure luck guesswork, it feels like, than the first two. The first two, it felt a lot more like you could logically deduce what you should do. This one feels a lot like, oh, if you look at the body, it, you will die. Like, there's no logic to that. I just have to not look at that body, apparently. But I do recommend the series. I've been having a great time with it, uh, overall.
I saw that the original one that was on the Super Nintendo is apparently getting a remake. So, might be worth holding out for that. I don't know. I don't know the company that's doing the remake, so I don't know if it's worthwhile or not. But I'll probably play it when it comes out, especially if they make any changes, but even if it's just a straight, pure remake with just updated graphics, uh, I'll at least give it a chance. I wonder whose attaché case this is. Okay, we're going to save Aunt Catherine. And then we're not going to go look at her body. We're going to go find something else to do. Stop. Stephanie, stop, please. Yeah. But Catherine, run! Hurry, run! Oh, don't come out. Now I know after <laughs> this one, the series makes like a hard turn to more of a traditional survival horror type thing. Hurry up, old lady. Uh, Get the hell out of here. <laughs> way back in the day, I know I rented Clock Tower 3 uh, for the PS2. A little twerp. I'll kill her. I don't remember it that well. I remember I liked it, though. I definitely didn't beat it. I was just a kid that rented a game, so... I might as well be playing it for the first time once I get to it. This is random, but I'm making bacon. One of my favorite ways to cook it is in the air fryer with salt, pepper, and brown sugar. I have had air fryer bacon, and it's excellent. Uh, I don't... I don't know if I've had it made exactly like that. But yeah, bacon's really good in an air fryer. It gets nice and crispy, which is the best way to have bacon. Sure, let's take the amulet now. Maybe it wants me to not shoot her here. deal with the girl and then we're gonna make another save we gotta figure out how to not have the game end here smack oh that didn't stop her oh no Plan was not as good as I thought it was. I thought that was a great plan. Um, why well, did we go to the room with the body while he's chasing us? Is the body just not there, maybe? is there. I cannot interact with it, though. Leave me alone!
That was hard to get rid of. I should have saved his baits and just shot her. Yeah. You hear a lot of that laugh in this game. I'm assuming this little girl's only going to be the killer in the first area here. This game seems like it's gonna jump around with different killers. Um, it, it seems to be more of a possession story than the first two were. So I'm guessing we only have the little girl to deal with for this level. Stephanie, I'm <laughs> sorry. Got her good. Smash her right in his stupid face. Okay, we need to find something to do that is not looking at Aunt Catherine's dead body. Uh, let's make a save. Uh, we'll save over data two right now. Okay, what can we do that will hopefully not immediately end the game? Maybe someone's out on this balcony? Uncle Phil's still alive somewhere, right? Is he a lawyer in Bel Air? Or no, he's a judge. My mistake. Mm. Are you gonna have to look up a guide? Hopefully not again. But I don't know, this game, it's not as, uh, this game doesn't have the same level of logic as the first two. I may be stuck using guides more often, but I'll, I, I will lose interest if I have to use a guide all the time, because that's not fun to me. Maybe I can mess with the statue now? I kind of doubt it, but... Oh, I can't touch it, mm. but why? One little fight, my mom got scared. Hmm. Where could Uncle Phil be hiding? Bathroom? Oh, there was like a thing that said help here, but... There's something written here. It says... help. Well, could we interact with her in some way that is not just clicking on her? Because obviously, logically, you'd think, oh, there's a body. That's clearly, I'm supposed to inspect the body. But I will be stabbed if I do. Hmm. I just walk away. Little girl gonna show up?
Hmm. Maybe he's hiding in the closet. Wait. Need to check something. Oh, oh, I did. I did look at the guide and uh, I screwed up. I would never have thought of that. I'm glad I looked at the guide. Oh, no, but OK, we still have this data. I think this one's early enough. Jeez, this game. So apparently it wanted me to turn around and lock that door instead of trying to leave. Yeah, I doubt this is going to be a game where I have no choice but to use the guide a lot, which is not super fun. I'm going to minimal, try to minimize how often I use it. The game does soft lock you, and that's what happened again. I just soft locked myself into only being able to get ending L no matter what I did there. There was nothing to do except ex except look at her body. Stop. Stephanie, stop, please. I don't like that. Yeah, this is my least favorite Clock Tower game for sure. Run! Hurry, run! Wait, I wonder what happens oh, if I let her stab Aunt Catherine there. I've never done that. <laughs> Hurry up, old lady. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh. The little twerp. I'll kill her next time. <laughs> to turn back around with the bedroom key and now lock the door that I had just unlocked. Man, I would not have thought of that. That wasn't easy. Now she's locked in and can't kill Aunt Catherine. Oh my goodness. Let's keep pushing it over. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to keep the guide bookmarked on this game. Because you keep it, you get soft locked, and it doesn't like warn you in any way. You have no way of knowing you're soft locked. So like without that guide, I wouldn't know have known at what point I had soft locked myself if I hadn't gone back and checked that. And let's save over the soft lock save so we don't accidentally load that one up again. 
that is kind of clever i sort of like the you have to turn around and lock the door thing again but i don't like that the game lets you move on without doing it where you don't know that was the mistake you made and you can just get stuck on ending l over and over again I don't know what the solution to that problem is. But I'm not a game developer. I just don't like how it does work in this game. Gathering? Yo, your dead body's not here. That's a good sign. <laughs> what? How did you? Oh, I was hitting the button. Why did I still get stabbed? Whatever. Uh, just don't inspect that at all. Just ignore it. <laughs> Stay locked in your room, you stupid little girl. Where the heck is Aunt Catherine? Thought she'd be up here. This is where she was dead. Nope, that didn't count as an ending. Nice try, Famario. Ah! Oh, man. Um, I'll just go hang out in the bathroom for a while. We gotta wait him out. But I don't know. Technically, I've seen credits. Technically, I've gotten two endings. So, uh, I may not play through this entire game. Because I remember liking Clock Tower 3 a lot. Where's that guy's laugh? Of the, uh, you think the samurai armor should get a laugh as well? Hanging out in the bathroom. <laughs> Think he's gone yet? Think there should always be a laugh no matter where you are in the game. <laughs> Oh, this guy. This guy's annoying. Excuse me. <gasps> yeah, nice try. Come on, run. No, don't run back to the bathroom. Uh, I don't control where she runs after you escape. Really hoping she'd run downstairs, which is where I want to go. No, we're going to have to wait him out in here. This is a very realistic scenario. It's like when you're at a really crappy get together and you just don't want to deal with the other people there. So you just kind of walk around in the bathroom There's looking at stuff for here. a while. It says help. If I was Bates right now, I could shoot him and not be stuck in here. Actually, I don't know if you can shoot the samurai armor. Maybe you can only shoot the little girl. I have not tried. The samurai armor acts differently. It doesn't chase you. It just stays in the room it was in.
Wonder if it's been long enough yet. Also not a huge fan of having to just sit in rooms waiting for this guy to disappear. Yeah, this is an interesting game. I can see why this is a spin-off instead of being Clock Tower 3. Uh, they clearly wanted to try new things. They clearly wanted to get a little experimental with it. Uh, some things worked, some things didn't. But it, it is my least favorite so far. I don't think it's a bad game, but... I do think this is a game that's gonna requires guide use, and I don't like that. I mean, I don't know what room this lady's in. I guess we gotta check all the rooms, like bathrooms, she in here. We've gotta be looking for Aunt Catherine, right? That has to be the current goal. Uh, da, 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 da. Next. Maybe she unlocked a door that was previously locked. Was unlocked. That girl's still trapped in there. I'm curious. Oh, wait. I haven't checked this door. Maybe she went in here. Oh, she unlocked a door that was locked before. Of course I needed to try every previously locked room. Why didn't I think of that? What has happened to Stephanie? And Ashley? Ashley got her head cut off. What happened here? Tell me, Aunt Catherine. Curse. The curse is what's causing this to happen. Curse? I hope you say more than that. We're doomed. The Maxwell curse is gonna kill us all. The Maxwell curse. We're doomed. The Maxwell curse is gonna kill us all. Okie doke. Well, thanks for all the information. Kerosene heater still works. Uh. Oil can. Um, is there nothing else in here? Doomed. All right, we're doomed. Got it. The Maxwell curse is going to kill us all. Where the heck do I use? Ah! Where do we use oil, I wonder? I've not seen anything that I would think you would use oil on. Kitchen, maybe? That's not that kind of oil. It's not cooking oil. It's like kerosene, they said at first. Now it says oil can. So I assume it means gas can? Want to power something? 
This door's still locked. You still in there? Still have the key. Didn't take it away. She's not in here anymore. How'd she get out? Oh, I wonder where Uncle Philip went. Is there a bedroom? They have separate beds. Letter? From... Mr. Alan Hale, it's from my father. It's postmarked 16 years ago. The statue I sent belongs to the Maxwell family. Ultimately, it was only a statue. And probably has nothing to do with the Maxwell's magic powers. There is probably nothing to the curse, either. For now, anyway. I'm giving you the statue. Statue? <gasps> Not the statue in Stephanie's room. Uh, okay, so I want to go back and look at the statue in Stephanie's room again? Oh, first aid kit. Nice. I locked the door again. Oh, they finally took my key away. So that in itself is a hint. If I still have an item after using it, I know I'll be using it again. Um... It's. I'll be using it until it goes away. That'll be good to know. I'll keep that in mind. I guess let's go check that statue. Watch out for little brats that want to murder you. This way. Oh, I went in the wrong room. It was the other one. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. The statue, where did it go? Um, Uncle Phil? Did I save again? I feel like I should save again. Let's save. All over this one.
You're not Uncle Phil. You're just chilling down here? Oh, it is Uncle Phil. Uncle Philip? Oh, it's all because of that Maxwell curse. Maxwell curse? It doesn't matter now. You must go hide in the den. Corridor key. Where's the den? Oh, I think the last locked door was in by the kitchen. Oh no. Um, I think there's a way to get rid of her in the kitchen. Let's run in there. Horse Egg's favorite laugh. Oh, you know what I should do, Horse Eggs? I need to capture this laugh on audio and use it for some sort of like audio alert on the stream. Let's have that laugh spam. <laughs> Is there anything I can use? Oh, yes, a pot. Bash her face in. Nice. Is this the den by any chance? I think this is the last locked door I can think of. It is locked. Oh. Spooky. Everything is normal here. This looks like a den to me. Oh, there's stairs. Hello. Man, my aunt and uncle are super rich. Their house is huge. Books. They all look so difficult. Uh. Yo, Uncle Phil. Hmm. Comic books. Crystal ashtray. Probably bash that stupid girl's face in with that. A lighter. Maybe, I mean, she talked about being able to use the fireplace. Maybe I like the fireplace. Everything is normal here. This is the statue. Everything started after Stefan. He found it in the closet. That statue? Curse is true. That's why you're possessed. Or... Or what? I've been cursed too? You know, don't you? Anyone involved with the Maxwell family Hey! You freaking jerk! Oh. Uncle Phil, how dare you?
Well, um, I'm going to go... I still have oil. Oh, maybe the oil and the lighter for... Use both those to start a fire in the fireplace. For reasons. I don't really know what I have to gain from that, but... I don't know what else to do with those things. Maybe I can burn that little girl alive by squirting her with oil and then using the lighter on her. That would feel good. Oh, I could go talk to Aunt Catherine again, but she's just kind of whining. Okay, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to start a fire. This fireplace can still be used for some reason. All right, oil. They need oil. This fireplace can no. still be used. Just lighter, maybe. This fireplace Dang it, can woman. still be used. That's not helpful. Okay, so that's not the solution. Let's talk to Aunt Catherine again. Who's in here? You uh still being crazy? We're doomed. Yeah. The Maxwell curse is gonna kill us all. Why did you guys keep the statue if you thought I was cursed? I feel like you're kind of responsible for this yourselves. Um, let's go try to light Uncle Phil on fire. Uncle Phil, what happened? I mean, you kind of had it coming, but still. Burn it. Oh. The statue. Burn it. Did you just fall Uncle over, Phil, Uncle Phil? The statue. Hurry. Burn it. He doesn't seem to be hurt. Maybe he's just sleepy. Wait, is that the statue? Did I just walk past it? Yeah, I think it was up there. All right, well, I if he wants me to burn the statue, I think we now know how to do that. Oil and lighter and a fireplace. Easy peasy. Burn the statue? Uh... Oh no. Come on, you little brat. I must burn the statue. Well, am I supposed to. What? what I... Ah, crud. Okay, try this again. So, we have to like figure out how to do this while the little girl's coming. We're gonna try to like toss the statue in. I must burn the statue. That was apparently not the solution, huh? Oh, it was the solution. Um, oil. Oh, yeah. 
going to kill you. <laughs> Just give up. Get her, Bates. Oh. Kick her into the fireplace. Hey, you little shit. What good is it gonna do to burn that? <laughs> nice. Oh. It's the way I do it. Good job, Bates. <laughs> oh, crap. Not a good enough job, Bates. Oh, man. She was faking. Don't tell me that was an actual ending. Oh, that was an ending. You're crazy. He is crazy. He's not wrong. Some of these endings, I'm not, and that was I. Wait, did I miss one then? Wait, did I miss two? What were J and K? Just in time, what's up T time? Yeah, we beat the game, we just saw the credits. Uh, it was ending I, we missed J and K. We got I, L, and M. So far, all the endings are getting stabbed in the gut by this little brat. How far back do I have to load? I kind of want to find J and K. What am I doing here? How far back am I? I got the oil. That means I've talked to Aunt Catherine already. Um, did I check on... Wait. Crap. I don't remember what I was doing here. Where, what was going on right now? Oh, jeez. Not that funny. Catherine, have her kill her instead. Oh, she's gone, Aunt Catherine, you cheater! Oh, man. Turn the light off, she'll never find me. <laughs> Good luck, kid. somehow still found me. I heard the best joke before she started chasing me. It must have been just fantastic. How did I open this door before? Oh, I found him in the, like, front room and he gave me a key. Dude, what do I do to get away from this little piece of trash? Leave me alone. Hey, kids. Light off? Hiding here somewhere. You can't like hide in this game. Oh, oh, I'm hiding. I was saying the first two, you always hide.
Oh, I remember what I was doing. So when I talked to Aunt Catherine, she mentioned the statue. She said, oh, this all started when Ashley found the statue. And uh, I went upstairs to check on the statue. I don't know if I saved before or after I checked on the statue, though. Dude. Leave me alone. Actually, this is a fine room for you to be in. You're easy to avoid here. I don't think I checked on the statue yet, because I think after checking on the statue, uh, Uncle Phil will be down here. Hey! You were not... Can I get by you? Can, can I... No, I can't. <laughs> Dang it. I wonder if it counts as an ending to let the samurai man chop me down. I want to get all the endings now. Hey, Uncle Phil. How you doing? Uncle Philip? Oh, it's all because of that Maxwell curse. Maxwell curse? It doesn't matter now. You must go hide in the den. I need to find a med kit. That's what I need. Is there one in this room? There might be. Maybe in here? Nope, dang it. Med kits downstairs. Maybe in the one of the bathrooms. Hmm. I don't maybe in the kitchen. Well, in the pot. Never checked in the pot if there's one. Hey, what do you think happens if I go visit Uncle Phil down there as Bates? Let's find out. That could be an interesting little experiment. Oh, I'm not Bates yet, though. I'd have to be attacked first. But I bet when he tries to strangle me, I become Bates. Oh, I can look at this. Never looked at this before. Oh, okay. Apparently, I should not have looked at that. Oh, come on. Shooter. Oh, I'm not Bates. Become Bates. Become Bates. Why aren't you Bates? I dropped my amulet. We'll go back in that room again and see if we can just do the hide and the lights off thing more than once. Oh, hide back here. Go, 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 go. Ah, uh, too slow. Too slow. Go in here.
Oh, I didn't check if there was a medkit in this room. I should have. Whatever. Did I save? I don't know if I saved or not. I'm going to save now. I think I, I did save right before the girl showed up. All right, let's go um to the den. And see what happens. Yeah, yeah, I got the key. You know, we're going to save here just in case because it sounds odd, but I think I'm going to let Uncle Phil strangle me to death. I wonder if that's an ending. There was nothing interesting here. This is the statue. Everything started after Stefan he found it in the closet. That statue? Curse is true. That's why you're possessed. Or... I've been cursed too? You know, don't you? Anyone involved with the Maxwell family Strangle me. Kill me. That's not an ending. Short shot. Yo, Zance, what's going on? The, the man that's actually played these games before. How goes the worst clock tower game? Hey, that's how I feel about it. Okay, so that's, that's a common uh, opinion. I have not been liking this one very much. I liked the first two a lot. This the second the was my favorite. The Everything second was really good. After Stefan, he found it in the closet. So far. That statue? Curse is true. That's why you're possessed. Or... Hands down, a terrible point-and-click game. I I was having some issues with it. This game, it feels like it likes to you soft know, block you. you without you having any way of knowing why family. or how that happened. Uh. It's just like, you're screwed. I actually had to start over uh. for my first save because oh. I wandered around the house for over an hour with nothing doing anything. And I could never figure out why. A door that was supposed to be unlocked was just locked for some reason. And when I started the game over again to follow a guide to figure out what I did wrong, I didn't do anything differently. The order was slightly different by following the guide step by step, and the door wasn't locked anymore, and I was able to just keep playing the game. I have no idea why, if you do things in a different order, a door that you have to have unlocked is just locked. It's so weird. So now I have a guide open because this game seems unplayable without a guide. Burn it! The statue! Burn it! There's a lot of BS stuff like that. Yeah, like, oh, I Philip. barely touched a guide the for the statue. first two. Hurry, burn it. I think that maybe two to three times per game, I got stuck to the point where I had to look something up, but then when I looked it up, it made sense, and I was like, oh, that's what I was missing. This game hasn't had that so far. Oh, wait, it's up there. How much of the guide have I followed? I pull, I pull up the guide when I feel like I don't know how to move forward. So I'm not, I'm trying to follow it as little as possible, but this game feels like Burn you have statue? to have a guide.
But I mean, I'm still in scenario one or whatever, so not that much, I guess. I haven't played that much of the game yet. I don't know how many scenarios there are. There are only three. Okay, that's yeah, same as the last one, only those three are kind of like six because of the two character thing. But they also seem a lot shorter. This scenario seems kind of long. All right, I'm going to save here. Um, we'll save over this one. But yeah, not loving this game, which is a shame because up until this point, I was... I had an extremely this high opinion of this franchise. Used. I liked the first two a lot. This fireplace can still be used. Yeah, use it. Do I? I have all the pieces. He told me to burn it. Why am I not burning it? I got to stretch. This all fireplace right. Fireplace can still be uh, used. What am I missing here? Ugh. Oh, jeez, you have to have the amulet here. Okay, I was not aware of that, because, yeah, the, literally, there's no reason for that to be the case. See, yeah, that, that kind of thing is so lazy. I hate that. I already did this part Fireplace once, and then I died. But I had the amulet with me last time. This fireplace can still be used. You should just know. What the freaking? I have the amulet. What do you want from me? This fireplace can still be used. I know it can. Do I like leave the room and come back? I did this last time. What's different? You have anything new to say? We're doomed. The but seriously, what were they thinking with this all. game? Like, I, I was kind of trying to be nice earlier saying, you know, I understand it was a spinoff. They were clearly trying some new things, being a little uh, experimental. But man, every experiment's a failure. And things like this are just lazy. The first game and second game didn't do crap like this. Was it a different team? Was it like a team of newbies that made this game? It was the same developers. I literally just had to leave the room and come back. Are you kidding me? I must burn the statue. Director of the first who didn't work on this. Like, Clock Tower 3 is really different, but I remember liking Clock Tower 3 a lot. Like, they went the new direction and it worked. Just give up. Hey, you little shit. What good is it gonna do to burn that? And I'll probably do Haunting Grounds as part of this series playthrough as well, since that was originally I do it. Block Tower 4 in development. Bates is definitely the best character. I 100% agree. Thoroughly enjoy Bates, like, shooting and stabbing the little girl. Amulet, protect me! <laughs> Stephanie, I'm sorry. Good, now kill her. It looks like she lost her protection. All right, made it.
it's a shame this game kind of sucks because it started out on a really high note. It was like, ooh, the graphics are better. It's got decent voice Ooh. acting you discover like you okay? a chopped up body Alex that's pretty Corp, cool monterey county police don't have to talk place memorial hospital i got a call from tate's wife when i went inside i found you and a girl laying on the floor i carried you out here One thing I want to ask, but I'll wait till you get to scenario three to see for yourself. She? All right. She was badly injured, but she'll be okay. She's not going to die. That's her now. What was that? Also, I'm glad they dropped Scissor Man. It's I was kind of bored of Scissor Man. And that annoying little girl, while I, like, was making fun of her a bit, it was kind of fun being chased by something new. I sort of liked the little girl. Even if her laugh's a bit much. Okay, scenario two. We're in a new scenario. There's something involving that chapter that makes me despise this game even more than usual. Despise is a strong word. I wouldn't say I despise this game so far. Um, but I would consider it a large, a large step down from the first two, especially the second. The second is super rough around the edges, but it was really fun. Like, I had a very good time with it all the way through. Key to the drawer. All right, we're going to try to go guideless for uh, scenario two. We'll see. Everything is normal here. Um, But yeah, no, Scissor Man's cool and all, but like... He's not even the main bad guy in the first game. It was clear that he was just, like, what people latched onto because he was kind of interesting in the first game. And then, like, the second game, it's all just about Scissor Man. Like, the real main bad guy in the first one was Miss Henrietta or whatever. Part of me wants to help you, other wants to help you suffer. To be honest, since I'm not loving this game, I kind of want to get through it, so feel free to help me. I'd rather have someone in chat helping me than be following a guide. That's more fun. But it's up to you. If you don't want to help, don't help. I will not be mad. I'll suffer for a bit, and then I'll eventually go to the guide, most likely. It's just, I really did make it through almost all of the first two games without a guide. It's so frustrating to feel like I have to use a guide for this here. one. Like, I'm trying to think of the times I had to look up a guide. There was this one or... There was, like, a couple of puzzles in each game that I didn't manage to solve on my own. Nothing in here. Okay. I was thinking, you know, my brother is kind of an indie game developer, and I've dabbled a bit with programming. Uh, it would be super fun to try to, like, revive this style of gameplay. The sort of... It's not, like, hardcore point-and-click, but the sort of, like, heavy heavy on the story, multiple endings, horror, point-and-click game. Are you trying game. to escape? Ooh. Like, I'd love to make a game that's kind of an homage to... Block Tower 2, basically. Uh, is someone coming to kill me? Why is the music all intense all of a sudden? Someone's walking around. Well, oh, there's a thing to use in here. That's a power stance right there. Oh, it's a zombie doctor. What? What the? He imploded? 
sent that zombie to the Shadow Realm. That was unexpected. And what? Huh? I need to pick up a phone and have the guy go, I'm going to kill you. I haven't had that happen in a while. Who the hell? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to yell so loud. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just a newspaper reporter. Oh. Newspaper reporter? I'm Doug Bowman. Pleasure's mine. Oh, uh, not Nolan. I'm going to poke around a bit more. Poke around? Don't you know? There's a big story here. A whole lot bigger than I thought. Well, yeah, there's zombies. See ya. Are you going to leave this little girl alone? She's like 14, man. Reporters are scumbags in the Clock Tower series. Nolan was a straight-up pedophile, and this guy's just leaving this girl to her own devices when there's zombies around. George Maxwell? The Maxwell Curse. Wait, that's it? Well, I would learn something there. Got a pistol. We'll have to where it is. Why? Take the pistol. I need to. I need to become Bates. Random items that Alyssa can use will permanently take out the zombies. However, being attacked without the amulet will bring out Bates. Bates can shoot them with a gun, but for some reason it doesn't permanently remove them. Got it. Yeah, and I mean, I figured out how to switch between Bates and her um, in Scenario 1. Uh, but that's weird that she can permanently get rid of them and he can't. That's very odd. So smacking it with a chair kills a zombie forever, but shooting it, that's only an inconvenience. Oh crap, that's a zombie. Let's not, like, I feel like if I look at her, she's going to get up. Let's just not look at her. Everything is normal here. Put on the table. We could pretend I didn't see her. Here it is again, George Maxwell. Who is George Maxwell? Well, I don't know. Why don't you tell me what else is on the paper? And maybe I could help you figure that out. You just read a single name and then put it back down. So tired of everything being normal here. Look at all of these files. What, are they not normal? Why is the other one normal? Pour it again. Look at all of oh. these files. Everything's not normal there. It's a lot of files. Is for this room? Oh, fine. She's clearly a zombie. Wait, but the zombies are like yellow. Is that why Ashley was all chopped into pieces? Was Ashley a zombie? Because she was, her blood was yellow. They're all dead. Stand right next to her. Oh, I can't believe it. I didn't see that coming at all. Nice kick. What's happening here? Because that, that actually is a decent explanation for why Ashley was chopped into pieces. Well, it doesn't tell me who chopped her into pieces. But if she was a zombie, I kind of get it. Oh. 
Oh. This'll kill a zombie. A pot of coffee or something. Suck on that, zombie. Oh, it worked. It worked. <laughs> Threw that little thing at it. Blah, it's dead. Oh, man. Go back in there. I didn't think that would work. It's dead just Dang as I it. thought. Dang it, I thought the I'm gonna kill you guy would be there. How do I know if he's gonna kill me or not if he doesn't constantly tell me? Oh, everything's normal in that drawer. Wait, is that the door I came in or did I come in the other door? Okay, cool. Now I work here. Everything is normal here. Wonderful. Let's go back out. Looking for clues in the ladies' room. Everything seems normal here. Hmm, sometimes it's voiced. I'll be in big trouble if someone finds me here. Take a peek, see if we can find someone using the toilet. There. What are you up to? Ooh. Do I have a new, do I have a third personality now talking to me? Oh, you won't go in the men's room? Really? Fine. Oh, a thing. I discovered a I took this pistol, but I wouldn't take the other one. Why? I feel like nothing in this game makes any logical sense. Everything's normal here. Um, I saw this leave. I don't see anything to use on it. The zombies chase me. Apparently, what was in this room? I can't remember. Anything to use on a zombie? This was just another room, right? 
You like smack him with this thing? No. Ah! Chairs! Everyone knows that's a zombie's greatest weakness, is a folding chair. Take that! Wowee? Oh, WWE. I'm sorry, I'm a boomer and I still think of it as the WWF. WWE has never sounded right to me. Ooh, this sink's all bloody. Maybe it's a clue. Blood. Oh. I mean, it's a hospital. Finding blood doesn't seem like it'd be that shocking. I'd be more worried about the zombies, personally. Ooh, a hint. The inch now. Yes. If you do not see all the events in Noisy Monster Cage, you will not be able to escape from the hospital. I have to see all of the events to escape from the hospital. How do I know if I've seen all the events, game? I don't know. What do you even consider an event? What does that even mean? So vague. I think I came from the left or from the right. Keep going to lay up. It's probably dead. You're not even gonna try? It's probably dead. You're not even gonna lift the receiver up to check? Alright. It's locked. You didn't even touch it. How do you know that? We should switch back to Bates. He's so much better. Can I leave yet? Oh, elevator works. For some reason I thought it didn't. Oh, that's where I am, I guess. Need more folding chairs. It's a shame these folding chairs are all one-time use. Imagine if you could hit something with a chair more than once. But that wouldn't be realistic. Oh crap. Y'all filthy zombie. What, I ran right past him? These zombies are worthless. That little girl would never have let me get away with that. She was a way better killer. Hmm, anything to use? Anything to use? There's a chair. I can't use this chair. What's wrong with this? There's nothing to kill it with in here. How annoying. Zombie, please let me by. <laughs> this zombie's pathetic. Bye. So there's nothing on this whole floor to kill this zombie with? What about this thing? Don't stop and turn around. I have to stop and turn around and let him attack me? Oh wow, he had some moves there. Oh great, now I have to go back in here.
there's still nothing to use in here. Seriously, nothing on this whole floor I can reach that I can use on that zombie. That's so dumb. Guess I have to go get back on the elevator. I guess down. Well, we gotta find a way to get through that door before we can do anything up there. I'm assuming that zombie will still be in that area if I go back. I mean, I'm assuming the zombie can't take the elevator. He's not gonna... Is he gonna follow me down the elevator? The music? Zombies can use the elevator? Who taught them that? That was a terrible idea. We got a chair. Zombies. Oh, and there's a key here now. No! I want the key! Freaking zombies! There's so many of them! Um, let's go this way. Where to find a chair? I can't believe that's not oh no I'm dead because we can't use these chairs that would be ridiculous that would not be realistic to use any of these chairs I can't get by her I'm dead we're about to get zombified uh. strangled me that's not very zombie like Can't go through there either, dude. What? Move. <gasps> go through literally any door except the one we just came from. No, you're gonna go to the one we just came from, huh? Okay. Where there's nothing for me to do. Wait, 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 turn the light off. Can you fool the zombie by turning the light off? No, <laughs> don't go through the door again. Nope, can't dodge her. I'm dead. Uh. Zance, this game sucks. Wait, go back in there. Or something. Yes, it does. Uh... Turn the light off and hide. No, she doesn't hide. She turns the light off and gets stuck by the door. Uh, 
Hide in the bathroom, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how to deal with this zombie. I, I'm out of chairs. Well, I'm out of chairs I'm allowed to interact with. There's, there's plenty of chairs. But we're not allowed to use most of them for whatever reason. Oh, I found a broom! I uh, bashed that zombie's brains in with a broom, so we're good. We're gonna go back for that key after I hopefully find a med kit. And I think I killed all the zombies, so there's a finite number of zombies, at least in all the rooms I've been in so far. I think they're all dead. Everything's normal. Dude, I'm in a freaking hospital. I should be able to find med kits. There was like eight med kits in my aunt and uncle's house. Wait, this wasn't the room with the key in it? Well, maybe there's a med kit in here. Oh, come on. Oh, I, that's probably just a spot I can drop my amulet if I want to. What are you doing, Zance? You playing uh, an MMO or something? Come on, give me a med kit. So stingy with the med kits. Ah, this is where I wanted to be. This room had the key. Okay. Hopefully a med kit. E to the closet. Wait. This. Does this mean everyone's panicked? I mean, I wouldn't blame them. Dude. I can't believe I'm not finding a med kit anywhere. I'm scared to save because there's like a 75% chance I already soft locked myself somehow. Ugh. 
Look at all of these files. No med kits. I'll make a save. Safety save. Um, we got noisy. We don't need to go back to the area one, I don't think. I'm definitely not getting every ending in this game. I just want to get the real ending, and then I'm moving on. Whatever, I guess I... Or find a... Oh, is this the closet? No? What room is this? Maybe a room with a med kit in it. That would be nice. Yes! First aid, baby. All right. Now we can go back up to the second floor. Wasn't able to really explore up here before because there was a stinky old zombie chasing me. Hey, this fool again. What's up, dude? Still think Tate's the guy who did it. Uncle Philip? Uh huh. There was yellow blood at his house, remember? There's a creature here, too, with yellow blood. Tate's missing. Missing? No! We should go over to the lab. Tate's the boss there, isn't he? Ah, uh, you're raiding in 14. Okay. Yes. All right, then. Let's get out of here. I'll go over now. You come later. <laughs> Everyone leaves this 14-year-old girl alone. Try not to get eaten by zombies, little girl. Oh, you look like you're ready to become a zombie. You're acting all creepy. <laughs> it's all over. He's the one who did it. <laughs> Excuse me, but... Huh? You? Those creatures can eat you instead of me. And while they're chewing on you... I can escape. Yes, that's it. What a great idea. You've gone crazy. <sighs> what is strangling me is not going to help you. <laughs> Hurry up and get eaten. How is this supposed to help? Wait, is this an... Did I just die? What is this game? All right, don't talk to him, I guess. That didn't count as an ending, though for whatever reason. Okay, so I'm guessing I want to talk to that guy when I don't have my amulet. Because uh, Bates ain't gonna take that. Gotta find somewhere to drop our amulet. I have the key for this door now. The door is locked. Is this the storage room?
Nice. Hey, a nurse. Look at all this junk. Is this really a hospital? Odd question. Why would there being a lot of stuff mean it's not a hospital? This is the end. Everyone's gonna die. To wander about forever? Excuse me. This is the end. Everyone's going to die. To wander about forever? Uh. He's broken. I preferred the guy that strangled me to death. Everything's normal here. All right. This looks like a spot I can drop my amulet off. Stay here, amulet. I'll be back. Let's go talk to Strangle Guy. Can't even talk to her again. Hey, weirdo, try to strangle me now. <laughs> it's all over. He's the one who did it. <laughs> Excuse me, but... Huh? You? Those creatures can eat you instead of me. And while they're chewing on you, I can escape. Yes, that's it. What a great idea. You've gone... Crazy. <laughs> Turn into baits or Hurry something. Up and get eaten. Do something. What? Where's baits? Uh what do you want from me, game? I have to maybe I have to get her to literally turn into baits. I thought she would change to baits by running into that guy. Yeah, I need to be baits when I get here. That means I need to find something to attack me. Didn't I kill all the zombies? So maybe I did softlock myself. This game does that to you all the time. Or find a zombie. Or something. Come on, zombies. What's in your head? In your head, zombie. Oh, I hear a zombie. Yes. Where you at? I've never been over here. Hello, zombie. You like to attack me? <laughs> nice kick. I, there's a whole area over here I haven't explored yet. I totally missed it. But first, I'm going straight back to Strangle Man and seeing what happens if I am Bates. Actually, you know what? Let's go back out there and shoot him so he stops chasing me first. Zombie. Oh, 
Oh. I forgot for a moment that zombies can use elevators. <laughs> it's all over. He's the one who did it. <laughs> hey. Huh? You? Those creatures can eat you instead of me. And while they're chewing on you, I can escape. Yes, that's it. What a great idea. He's crazy. <laughs> Hurry up and get eaten! Pretty good for a coward. <laughs> <laughs> They'll eat you up! I can't shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even care. They got whatever. Table drawer is locked. Got to find a key. Oh, like over here. Common key hanger. Get the key out of it. Just comment that it's a key hanger? Shoot it. No. Oh, I have a drawer key? <laughs> I didn't even remember getting that. Where did I get that from? Oh, not for this. I have a drawer key to a different drawer. Alright. I think I've had about all of the Clock Tower Ghost Head I can stomach for the day. I think I'm going to call the stream here. Those ants, whoever else is out there lurking, thanks for hanging out. Uh, hopefully I will quickly wrap up this game tomorrow. Yeah, you have a good one too, Orsex. Hopefully I'll quickly wrap this up tomorrow and get back to a good game with Clock Tower 3. Uh, I look forward to that one. Nice change of pace too. And I will talk to you later. Have a good day. Or night. Or morning. Whatever time it is where you're at. <laughs>